welcome my sisters and brothers in Christ to this time of devotion during the day. I invite you to still your heart, set aside distractions, and concentrate on God's grace. This is a service of responsive prayer in time of struggle from Olivet Lutheran Church in Sylvania, Ohio. God's people have practiced this liturgy for many centuries, and we offer it to you as a time to be stilled in the midst of the concerns and busyness of this time. You are invited to participate fully in the responsive readings, the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, the prayers, and so on. Simply follow along. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you, and also with you. O God, in you we live and move and have our being. Guide and govern us in this day and during this time by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but remember that always we are walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from Mark, the ninth chapter. Then they came to Capernaum, and when Jesus was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? But the disciples were silent, for on their way they had argued with one another who was the greatest. He sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be last of all and servant of all. Then he took a little child and put it among them and taking it in his arms, 
He said to them, whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. People of God, these words from Jesus speak about the life of being a servant by being intentional about placing one's self behind others that others may be ahead of us. It's not a contest who is first and last. It is simply a way of life for us as people of faith that we think of others and the well-being of others first. And in that, we find joy and hope. And in that, we are faithful and obedient to the will of Jesus. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall forever be, world without end. Amen. May the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord's face shine upon us and be gracious unto us. The Lord look upon us with favor and give us peace. Amen.